Well, hello booktube and welcome to my channel, Evan Writes, because my name is Evan, as you probably figured out by now, and I also write. Now, I did this video a few days back for AuthorTube, but I also plan to post content to BookTube. They are pretty much the same thing from what I understand, except for some people write and some people don't. And that's fine. I love to read too. I think all authors do this the reason that they write themselves. So I'm just going to go through the BookTube newbie questions as well to expand my horizons here and hopefully get some, some more friends in the community. So I'm going to start with question number one. Why did I start this channel? Well, I sort of just answered that a little. I am writing a book that I plan to take through clear to publishing right now. And I just love reading overall. I just want to get in and get to know some more people who love the things that I do. Love reading fantasy, love reading pretty much any genre and just being able to speak with people who know what they're talking about. Cause a lot of the people I know these days don't have the time to read or they just don't want to. And I feel like YouTube is a very good place to, to get that community together, to get to know people. And that's honestly all I really plan for with this channel is to just expand my horizons and just make a good group of friends and just subscribers and people who would love my content and people who I can go watch their content just overall have a good time together. Now, what are some of the unique things I can bring to, to BookTube? Well, I believe that my trade, I'm an animator and an illustrator, pretty much an artist by trade. And I feel that bringing in my knowledge through other types of story mediums, that would be through video game stories, through short stories, through short films, films, shows, all these things, all these different types of storytelling. I can look at books through a different lens than other people necessarily can based on their experience. And I'm hoping that adding this experience of mine to booktube will help benefit everybody so that we can draw in the good things from all types of stories and not just books themselves though i will be primarily focusing on books on this channel i will reach out and do some content related to video game stories related to tv shows related to any type of storytelling because i'm just a storyteller i love it and that's that's why i made this channel I feel that this next question, what am I most excited about for this channel is something I've already answered. Some of these questions seem to start feeling redundant and pretty similar from the list that I read, but I will answer them anyway. I'm just excited to get to know people. I'm excited to, to expand my horizons and just to have friends in the bookish community because I don't have very many in you know, real life outside of the internet. So getting to know people online who share this particular set of interests of mine it's just something I look forward to and hopefully my channel can provide that while I hopefully can provide interesting and exciting content for you. The next question is why do I love reading? Now that's a pretty hefty question in my opinion but as I said before I am a storyteller at heart. I love stories. I love seeing characters grow. I love seeing magic systems, plots arise, just overall senses of creativity i i just love it i can't get enough of it which is why i love to read because there's so many different things you can consume out there so many different types of books so many different genres all of that and i'm so excited to share that with other people and to get their feedback and hear what kind of books i can go out and read that i'd never heard of before just watching booktube channels in these past couple months has already shown me so many different authors I'd never even heard of before or considered. And I've already gone out and bought some of their books. I'm excited to get to read them eventually when I have the time. I am currently working through books. I just don't have as much time as I'd like to because I also write. But I will get through them all. I do have that list and I am booking my way through it quite literally. What stories got me into reading? Well, that depends on what time in my life you mention. If we go back to when I was young, I used to love reading mystery books like The Hardy Boys, Nancy Drew, those kinds of things. As I got older, I ended up getting out of my hemisphere. I ended up reading some religious texts, not just necessarily like, you know, the Bible or the Quran or things like that, but more like historical fiction stories set 
in religious, you know, times. Um, one of them was called Tennis Shoes Among the Nephites, things like that. Just got me interested. But the big one, um, it might sound cheesy, was probably Harry Potter. When I grew up, I grew up with Harry Potter and I read those books almost alongside Harry. And it was just really, really good to kind of grow up with that because her style changed and got more mature as I matured. So it kind of worked out for me. Alongside that though, I ended up reading like a lot of manga. I ended up reading a lot of comic books. I wrote, I read, you know, books that my other friends would write, though they weren't very good because, you know, we were in high school at that time. But yeah, so those are the kinds of things that got me into reading in the first place. But my palate has expanded a ton since then. And I am just loving all these new books and genres that I haven't really experimented in before, though I have in other types of medium like movies and TV shows. It's just more interesting going through and trying to see how they can expand that into writing. If anybody knows, for example, any good horror stories written as opposed to just on TV, I'd like to see if a horror book can provide those types of emotions that you can get with other mediums like video games or TV. I, I don't know exactly how people can translate that into writing because so much is based on that reader. So if you have any of that, I'd love to read one of those too and just see how it's accomplished and just expand my horizons that way. The only question that I believe I would have for other booktubers, at least at this point, is how has booktube changed the way you perceive reading and how has it changed what you read and why you read it. I, I believe that getting out there and getting to know people and getting all that influence from others that you wouldn't have otherwise met provides so much more insight and allows you to expand that palette of yours. And I just want to know how that's affected people who have been doing this for a long time. If you've been doing this for a short time, for a long time, and you happen to see this video, I don't expect many people to see this, at least for a very long time. But if you do and you feel like answering this question, just go ahead and type it down in the comments below. I'd like to know how it's helped you grow, what kind of person you've grown into because of BookTube in relation to your reading. The challenge that I believe would be hardest to overcome with the booktube channel and the author tube channel that I've I've started is mainly just getting that following. I don't ever plan to grow very big. I just want to get a nice close group of friends, people who will, you know, like my content, I can like their content. We can get together, maybe form critique groups at some point. Maybe we can just have you know, you know just a good time in the comment sections. I can do content that you would like. And maybe once I get to that point in my novel, which won't be for a while still, because I'm still finishing up the first draft, but once I need them, beta readers, it would be good to actually get them from my subscribers. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'll ever get big enough for that, but it, you know, it doesn't matter too much to me because I just really like the idea of just putting myself out there a little bit and getting to, to know people with my set of interests outside of, you know, my current world here so I can get out and just meet people from everywhere really one of these last questions is when did I start reading now I answered this a little bit earlier but I didn't give an exact date or age I don't remember exactly when I started but it was probably around age eight when I started to pick up books like the Hardy Boys like I mentioned before there were a lot of other books and that I read and maybe stories that I wrote at that age but since then, my palate has increased a lot. And just, you know, really, I've read a lot my whole life. I enjoy reading, except for, you know, obviously certain school books I just didn't enjoy. I hated things like Wuthering Heights and The Grapes of Wrath especially hated. The Scarlet Letter was a pain to get through. But when you come to books that I choose, I, I enjoy them. Otherwise, I wouldn't read them. It's just when I was forced to do things growing up that I didn't necessarily like them. The things like 1984 were amazing. I loved it. Um, but yeah, so I, I've always read for fun as well, not just school related things. And I hope that shows in my channel. Where do I read? 
Well, I read mostly on the train in my daily commute to work. So it's about a half hour to an hour every single day that I let myself just sit and read or some usually stand and read. But that gives me some time to read through books. That allows me to read through about a book or two a month in my list, depending on their length, sometimes less, sometimes more. And that's not counting the times where I just get home and just keep reading because I really want to keep reading um, because I'm at that point in my book. But that's mostly the time I spend. Otherwise, when I'm at home, I will spend that time writing, playing games, just soaking in other forms of media or every now and then I go out and do things. But the time that I dedicate to reading is my commute to work on that train, which is a good time for me. Sometimes if I can get hold of an audiobook, I listen to it while I work. But aside from that, it's just mostly during that time that I actually get to read. Hopefully sometime in the future I'll have more time to read, but I'm just glad that I'm putting aside time now to do it because I really love it. And I've read a couple books in the last couple of months that have just really made me happy and one that kind of was a huge letdown. But that's a story for another time. If you want to know, uh, just leave a message in the comments and maybe I'll make a video about it. But okay, moving on to the next question. And that question is the last one on the list. What kind of books do I like to read? Now, I like to think I read in everything, but lately, if I'm going to be honest, I've read mostly in science fiction and fantasy genre novels. And I do want to branch out of that a little bit. If you have any suggestions for horror or thriller or mystery novels, maybe romance, though romance for me is more of just something in books at this point because it's in pretty much any genre that it's weird that it's a genre on its own, but it does make sense if the book focuses only on the romance. So I am really looking forward to expanding my horizons and getting to know really good books in other genres because there's something you can learn from all of those books, especially since I write fantasy mostly. Fantasy pulls from all the genres, and if I can see what other things do well in these genres, I can apply that to my own stories and make them even better. And that's just something I look forward to. And if you guys have those suggestions, I'm really, really excited to hear them. And I can't wait to start reading more. I just got my first book haul today in a while. And I will probably do a video soon with that. I might have mentioned that earlier in this video. I'm just really excited to get going and getting to know everybody in this channel. And I just really hope we have a great time. With that, I'm going to leave you. Have a great night, and I will see you on the other side.